What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Just Jen. Today I'm reacting to Chris Stapleton. It's been a while. God, that's not the name of the song, obviously. It's been a while since I've done a Chris Stapleton reaction. Love the man. My dear friend Tria had re uh, requested this song in for uh, one of my live streams. In for in one of my live streams, and it's called "Watch You Burn." This is from the 57th uh, Academy of Country Music Awards, 57th year, my goodness, 2022, and Tria, I'm live streaming now, Tria tells me, she just tagged me, and she says, Jen, this song is about the shooting in Las Vegas that claimed 60, yeah, yeah, at a country festival in Las Vegas, some idiot, some idiot, Disturbing. Absolutely disturbing that somebody would want to do that. May they all rest in peace. Humanity sucks. But Chris Stapleton don't. You hear that? Only a coward would pick up a gun and shoot a bunch of people just trying to have fun. What possesses somebody to do that? I will never know. Like, I look at the horrible acts that human beings do and I'm like, it doesn't register in my brain why somebody would make that decision. Like, who named you God? Who tells you that you can go in and extinguish somebody's life? Who? Fucking idiots, man. Now the Vegas lights, they won't never the glow. And the band will play. And go on with the show. And again, with Las Vegas, the, he, Chris Staple just, just said it, the lights will not be faded. The show must go on, and it will go on. And there's a special place for people like that. The devil's going to invite you right down. You're going to get a one-way ticket. You know, I used to live in Las Vegas. It's a big city. And a lot of people, a lot of tourists. And I can't even imagine having a ticket to a concert. So excited. You're going. You're going out with your friends. You're dressed all nice. Going and you want to have a bunch of fun. And then all hell breaks loose. That had to be the most petrifying feeling ever. I remember watching that on the news. It was terrible. Couldn't believe it. And just when your faith gets restored in humanity, did you remember shit like this? was slick chris stapleton saying i wasn't there but my friends were and if i could 
flip a, a switch, that first bullet would have been for you, you son of a bitch. I, it's very poetic, and you could feel the pain, not only in Chris Stapleton, but the power as well. Like, people, regardless of what some people may do, right, some people are bad, there's people that are going to fight for the force of good and stand up for it. And I think that we as human beings should. We should have that camaraderie to where we ain't going to put up with no one shit like that. Especially going on in the schools. Like, really? I never in my life had ever once woke up for school and when I was a child. And all the 13 years that I went to school, never once was there a day uh, where I was, like, scared to go to school. Uh, now, kid, like, I'm scared as fuck to send my kid to school. My other one's in college, and that scares me daily because there's shootings everywhere. Now, if I were in charge of this country, I would arm each and every teacher. And it's very sad that we would even have to think like that. But the way the world is, man, it's fucked up. And I can't even sugarcoat it anymore and be like, oh, this world is such a warm, fuzzy place because it's not. Can't even go to the supermarket. You can't even go to school or church or a country music show. Shit. Can't even start a new band with your brother, go to a concert venue in, let's say, Columbus, Ohio, without some crazed gunman coming in and shooting the place up and killing a bunch of people. Fucking wackadoodles. I'm not one for wanting people to off themselves Except for people like that. For people that want to spread carnage before they take their own lives. Just skip the carnage part. Take your own life. Do it. Don't be ruining the lives of other people and taking innocent people down in your wake. It's stupid. And I hate people who do that shit. <sighs> it's your turn. Like I'm the I'm on the same level with Chris Stapleton, and what's going through my mind right there, before he came out with this verse, I'm going, damn, you know, for being a metal chick, since I was in diapers, Chris Stapleton, you know, even though he's playing at the Country Music Awards, even though he broke out as a country music star, and I, for one, am not really like. I don't sit there and listen to country music. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But Chris Stapleton, I'm looking at him. I'm going, dude, this dude is my favorite. He's absolutely my favorite. What he's putting out here is a very powerful message. Hopefully, those people, the bad people, would hear this. Oh, and look at this. I was alive during the Oklahoma City bombs, the bombing. I was a teenager when that happened. It was horrific. Before you mail out your bombs or before you pull a trigger in a synagogue, like, who thinks of that? Something ain't right in people's heads to do that, man. Before you mail out your bombs or pull a trigger in a synagogue, you're gonna get short time. You're gonna get short that chorus is awesome 
Nice. And you know what's so crazy is that those country music stars or whatever, you know, if you're at a, a music venue or something, God forbid that ever happens, you know, the person that's going in and doing that, do you not think that that's going to be traumatic for everybody? That might force somebody to end their music career and blame themselves, you know, have that survivor's guilt. It's like, I don't even know. It's like, why can't people just think correctly why can't they be compassionate empathetic for other people and see their consequences before they act on them i loved this song because he was talking about if you do something like this you're gonna get your turn and i no matter if you believe in heaven or hell there's got to be some consequences to your actions after life. And if you are living a life like that and to ever want to take the life of somebody, unless you touch my children, I would never even think about doing that. And in, in, in case of somebody touching your child, you don't think about that anyways. You don't want that to happen. But if God forbid it does, you know, I think protecting your kids at all costs. That's not, that's not a bad thing. All right, uh, Tria, thank you for requesting this song. And may all of those victims and their families rest easy knowing that they're remembered. And hopefully that'll never happen again. But given the, the circumstances of the world that we live in today, it just keeps happening over and over and over again. But they will be remembered and honored. And people that do those kinds of shootings... You're all cowards. Save the bullets for the shooting ranges, okay? All right, guys. My name is Just Jen. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want me to react to any, any more Chris Stapleton, because like I said, he is my favorite. He's grown on me a lot. I think the man's got a beautiful voice. His music is amazing. It's exceptionally good. If you want to see me react more, please drop your links down below in the comment section. I have a Patreon. If you're interested in joining a Discord as well, links will be in the description of my videos. And again, you don't know how to hit the like button, subscribe button. If you haven't, here's how you do it. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And don't let things like this deter you from wanting to go outside and enjoy your life. People know that or not. When they do certain kinds of horrific shit like this, it causes people to not want to live. It causes people to not want to go to concerts and have fun. It scares them. It scares parents to sending their kids to, to go to school. All right, guys, take care. I'm just Jen. See ya.